welcome back to good morning tobago on tobago updates viewers we are now being joined by mr jude rogers who is a fire prevention officer with the trans tobago fire service a special good morning and welcome to you mr rogers pleasant good morning to you and your listeners it's always a pleasure to be here on your program Certainly. And one of these days, you're going to be sitting right next to me here in studio where we can have this conversation. Hopefully, that's our, your New Year resolution. Definitely. definitely, definitely. All right. So let's get into the conversation for this morning. Now, we've had quite a lot of fires within the country this year. And on, unfortunately, it was accompanied by a lot of fatalities, even up to just this past week um so can you give us an idea of what's been happening in terms of what's the statistics like for 2023 okay so for 2023 death by fires in Tobago, Tobago has had no death by fires but in trinidad the death by fire total 20 death by fires at this present week here and sadly based on the statistics we are we are of the we are aware of the fact that there are the possibility coming before the end of the year that we can have more hence the reason why i'm on the program here with you this morning to try to encourage persons to be fire safe so that we would have no more deaths before the end of 2023 is this the most amount of deaths by fire that we've had um, in recent times Um, for coming out of 22 and 21, we've seen an, a, a slight uptick in fires. I would suggest that during the pandemic, persons were at home, and so more persons were aware and paying cognizance to environment and to their homes, and therefore the fires used in 20 in 2021. The and 2022 that by fires were 15 and 7. We want to see the whole and not, but they were sticking fires jerking across the board in Trinidad. And so, you know, we, we recognize that the Christmas period is one of those periods where you need to pay close attention to what yes. you do in your home. Um, there's a lot of reno going on, there's a lot of Christmas lights. I heard the, 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 the person, from the corporate um, person from TNTEC speaking about the consumption of electricity around this time. And as you know, electricity is one of the main sources of um, a, a fire being able to start in the home. Mm -hmm. So, and then so tell me a little bit about some of those things that we need to be aware of. Of course, we touched on electricity a little bit earlier, and as you mentioned on the morning show with Julian and Adana, but I just want to get from you, from your standpoint, what are the things that we can do to avoid fires, especially at this Christmas time? All right, okay, well, so I definitely think that, we're, we're advising members of the public to put out your Christmas lights. An electrical circuit. An electrical circuit can only handle so much um, electrical um, demand. And so with no more than three electrical lights on one circuit, we're advising. So we're also advising that members of the acquire smoke detector and fighting with and install them in your homes to ensure that there is no damage to your home. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just, you know, could you give us an idea to, as we reflect on this year, what has been the biggest contributor to fires in homes so far that you guys have noticed? We might be right. losing Mr. Rogers. So Do we have him? As in Trinidad and Tobago, what we've been noticing in Tobago, fires have been associated with many accidental means. Yes, I should not. Yes. Okay. Mr. Rogers? 
think we might be having a little break in the connection right now. Um, but yes, as we, we've been speaking with Mr. Rogers, as we just kind of sort of get ourselves aware of what we need to do or just, just, just become more aware of what we need to do to prevent fires within our space. We know that, I mean, at Christmas time, you know, in the spirit of merriment and excitement and joy, especially with all the children around and so on, you know, it's easy to overlook simple things that may lead to a fire. And, you know, we want to make sure that Christmas remains a time of joy and happiness and not be uh, turned into something of a disaster. So, but Mr. Rogers, do we still have you? Are, are you still there? Right, I think we're still having a little yes, bit of challenges. Definitely here, definitely here. A lot of the demand on, on this. Here. Let me go get back to the points that are very important. Okay, unfortunately, we're having a little bit of uh, connection problems with Mr. Rogers, but certainly we would uh, try to have him back at perhaps another uh, on another program um, to, to speak about this and it's something that we really need to take care of and like one of the things that keeps getting repeated is that you know we were getting more excited about Christmas lights I for one love Christmas lights but we always need to make sure that as we are decorating our homes that we're not overload overloading the circuits and so on you know it always helps to maybe if you have an electrician in the family have somebody see have uh, take a look at, at what we're doing to ensure that it's safe make sure they're away from water and so on um, even when we are cooking of course Christmas is a time of lots of food make sure that we are being safe with the way that we are handling our stoves and so on I don't know if you remember earlier this year there was a, a kid that fell into a pot um, that was being cooked on a, on a fire side and unfortunately the child passed away but you know these are just some of the things that we need to be aware of as we're excited I mean yeah we want to I mean some of us may want to have a few drinks and so on but even as we are doing those things we got to make sure that safety is the most important thing as we though just enjoy ourselves with our family and our friends so you know as we look forward to the next week and even as you're going through and you're cleaning your homes and so on it might be a good idea to just take a look at your electrical circuits and whatnot see if you could perhaps reorganize your home so that there is less of a hazard within your home you know less things to trip on less wires to pull that sort of thing you know just see what you can do to make your home safer we don't want to have any reports of homes uh, being lost to fire or even lives being lost to fire especially in Tobago as Mr. Rogers said uh, for 2023 there hasn't been any loss of lives here in Tobago as a result of fires unfortunately in Trinidad that hasn't been the case we lost 20 so far and he says that perhaps by the time that uh, January um, rolls around January 2024 was around we might have a couple more and we hope that we don't have a couple more so please whatever you do be safe all right folks so we're coming down to the end of the program for this morning i just want to thank you all for being on with us it was such a pleasure and i uh, hope you have a safe and wonderful day and we will see you again tomorrow bye for now Tobago updates.